In this video you learn how to create the solar system as it was known 400 years ago. For this you will use Python and Piglet and get an insight in graphics and motion. This video is part 2 of a series. In this part you learn how to add motion to the system. If you have missed the first part of this tutorial, click here to watch it first. Otherwise, let's go! Planets are stored in a list. Each planet has a radius and color. But to add motion, Leo needs to specify more information. Here are the planet's distances from the Sun and their orbit speeds. Leo will pack each circle in the planets list in a tuple that also has the distances and speeds. Leo adds the distances and speeds to the planets. Leo checks the values a final time and is ready to make things move. For this, you will add an update function to the system. To add motion to the system, an update method needs to be added. When the update method is called, a delta time is passed. Delta time is the time that passed since the last update. By using the delta time when calculating positions, you ensure smooth animations. But what needs to be updated exactly? Well, since everything needs to revolve around the Sun, an angle is needed. So Leo creates an angle variable and updates it in the update method. Leo iterates the planets. And for each planet, their orbit position can be calculated like this. Math needs to be imported. And finally, the update method needs to be called. For this, clock needs to be imported. And clock will now schedule a call to the update method 60 times per second. Time to test. And there is motion. The planets now revolve around the Sun. To update the planet's positions, Leo used the cosine and sine functions from the math module. That is how orbits can be calculated. Leo compares his computer program with the sky, but decides he needs to have a closer look. He needs a telescope and decides to order one online. After only 5 weeks, his telescope arrives and he can start surveying with great detail. The system works as expected and everything is turning as it should be. But then he points his telescope at Jupiter. What is that he sees in his telescope? Jupiter has 4 moons. He points his telescope at Venus. No moons. Then he looks at Mars. Two moons? Incredible! Leo decides to also add the moons to his solar system simulation. And to see how that works, click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video.